Welcome to your Sunday Multicam Straight Razor Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this shave, I'm using my Fine Edge Osti So. Yeah, this beautiful razor, all original made in New York City in 1920. It is just beautiful. This is blacked just like a gun, and that is a full hollow. Yep, very nice. Good shaver. Yes, it is. Now for our soap tonight, here we go. That is the Imperial La Roca Beta. Yep. It has got top notes of Japanese grapefruit, bergamot, and lemon, and that is followed by peppercorn, ginger, jasmine, and it's got some aquamarine notes in there as well with a hint of peppermint. It has base notes of natural patchouli, cedar, vetiver. It has got some frankincense in there and others. Very nice. And this is the sample size, but works really well. Yep. Now I have had that blooming in my Crown King Travel Scuttle. Yeah, this is the unbreakable one and it does a fine job. Yeah, it does. So let's get that on. Oh, oh fantastic scent. Yeah, that grapefruit is what pulled me in with this one. Really enjoy that. And uh, it's nice. It really is. And this is a really good soap as well. Now, here we go for my brush tonight. That is the Connecticut Quarter Brush. This is a 22 millimeter Maggard Razor Synthetic Knot. It is pushed down in that handle quite a bit, which gives it some backbone and it's really nice, especially in hard water like what I have. Now, this is a splash and go. So we're just getting it wet just like that. We're going to get most of that water out of there. There's still a little water in here. So let's go ahead and get going making a lather. Yep. There we go. That's starting to look pretty nice. All right. So welcome to the weekend. Yeah, this is just marvelous. I enjoy my weekends. I enjoy being with family and friends and really being able to have some downtime. That is always nice. And hopefully you are in high spirits. The world's treating you good and you're getting some good shaves. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, this is really what it's all about here. Yeah, we want good shaves. Yeah, we do. Now, welcome to the Berkshire Botanical Garden located in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, in the heart of the Berkshires, minutes away from many other cultural attractions such as the Norman Rockwell Museum and Tanglewood, a live outdoor music venue on its 24 acres of botanical gardens containing over 3,000 varieties of plants, and they thrive in this climate. Yeah, they do. Along with many others, which aren't actually from here, but they work out pretty well. The garden was established in 1934 and is one of the oldest public display gardens in the Northeast. And it's open year round and every Tuesday they have free admission. So if you're in the area on Tuesday, it's a magical place to check out. Yes, it is. They open at nine, so don't show up too early because you won't be able to get into the parking lot. It'll be closed. You can check in at the Visitor Center and shop and get your pass there. Now, this garden is run by volunteers and they even make unique products from the herb garden 
to sell in the shop. Plus they have a collection of outdoor sculptures like this spotted owl mosaic. Oh, and look at that. That soap is looking really good. Yeah, it is. Check that out. Oh, beautiful. All right, I think we're gonna stop there on that soap. Yeah. Now, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our lather on. Yep. Nice. Now, that scuttle does have cold water in it. So we're doing another cold water shave which really has been working quite nicely for me. Yep, I am enjoying it. Oh, and look at that. Isn't that nice? Hmm. We're just gonna put a little more water on that, just like that. Hydrate it a bit more. There we go. That'll do it. Now get those hands cleaned off and dried off. You wanna have nice, non-soapy hands which now we gotta do it again but it'll be all right take just a second here we go now this is pass one and for me primarily that is going to be with the grain now i'm going to lay that razor flat raise it about a spine width like that that's going to give us that proper shaving angle of 20 to 30 degrees. Yeah, there we go. Nice, huh? That's doing it. So hopefully you are enjoying visiting some of these places that we've gone to and, uh, you know, being able to maybe find some places to put on the bucket list to go check out yourself. Mm-hmm. There we go. Nice. Now let's get that mustache area. Nice, that is so good. Yep. 
Yeah, by the way, down in the description, I've got a link to the Berkshire's Botanical Garden website. All right, so you can check them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just fascinating. All the different plants and things they have. They even had a vegetable garden there with amazing vegetables. Yeah. And just like this one here, this is red okra, which I'd never seen before. I'd always eaten green okra. Yep. Yeah, just amazing. All the different things that they had. Quite interesting. And uh, really fascinating it is because of all the different colors that you can see. All the different kinds of plants. Nice. Oh, that is good. There you go. Pass one complete. Felt good. It did. Yep. Feels good to get that off. Yeah, it does. Yeah, nice beard reduction. Keep in mind, we do multi-pass shave. So you don't need to try to get it all in one shot. All right. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and get some more lather going. Oh, man. That lather is fantastic really is i have to tell you the imperial aroca lather is definitely quite nice nice and slick and just wonderful scent really is on these and a lot of these will go with different mainstream colognes mm -hmm. also there's a link down in the description for the imperial laroca website you can check out the scent on these soaps and they will give you a more of an idea of what kind of cologne it will go with as well yeah so you can always check that out you may have a cologne already that will work with their soaps Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
quite nice. Yes, it is. Now we get the hands cleaned off again. There we go. Yeah, buddy. All right. This is pass two. And for me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain. Let's do this. There we go, nice. Yeah, just squeezing that blade in between the towel there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now see, I'm, I'm just shaking it in the water from here down, not getting the hinge pin or the tang and tail and the handle wet. We just shake it like that, and then we pinch it, keeping in mind that we want to stay away from this edge as well. Now, we're going to switch hands and get this other side. There we go. Now, rotated that handle like that. That was almost completely vertical. There we go. Nice. Yep. Now, let's find those spots. There we go. That's where it is. Right there. Yep. Got to find those spots. Yep. Now, here we go. Nice. Oh, that is good. Yep. Very nice. Now we're rotating that handle like that.
Yeah, that is good. Yeah, it is. There you go. Pass two complete. Yeah, buddy. Felt good. Now, here, let's go ahead and get some clean water. Oh, wow. Yeah, cheeks are brilliant. Right where they are. Oh, that is a good shave. Yeah, it is. Now, let's get our lather on. Here we go. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I hope you're having some good shaves. Yeah. Yeah, remember when you're shaving, try to shave the same way every time. That way you'll build muscle memory. You won't have to think about it. And that hand will know where to go, how to hold that razor, and you'll be in business. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's nice. All right. Here we go. Now, this is the half pass. Yep. Primarily for me, that's going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck except right through here on my neck, that will be with the grain. Let's do this. Let's find that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so right through here, this is going to be against the grain. So on pass one, I went down and that was across the grain. Pass two, I went up. That again was across the grain. So this is going to be against the grain. Yep. And it works really well. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, if you're liking these videos, give me a thumbs up. All right. That'll help more people find us on YouTube. That way we can have even more friends. Yep. Yeah, we got a lot of good people here. So we can let other people know as well. Oh, oh fantastic. 
bang and chafe. Yeah, it is. Oh, that is good. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, here we go. We are going alum everywhere. This is a stringent antiseptic. It will take care of those little bumps if you hit them. Tonight, we did good. No bumps were harmed in the filming of this shave video. We're still putting that alum everywhere. It is my practice and it helps. It does, it helps close those pores, tighten that skin. It's good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. And I'll just dry that off like that. There we go. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, you go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is lemonade for the face. Really good. Yeah, it is. If you like lemon, this would work for you. It will. Get that all rubbed in. Oh, nice. Fantastic scent. And I will put that everywhere. I will. Just like that. Next up, here we go. We're going to be using Parasso Single Blade. This is Cypress and Vetiver. Get some of those woody notes that will match this soap a little better. Yeah. And we're going to activate that just like that. Nice, nice, nice. That is good. Again, fantastic scent. Nice woody kind of thing. Really good. Now, here we go. Next up. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Osage rub. Yep, this is good. This is going to take care of that little hint of like peppermint and that's going to be good it is and we're going to get a nice menthol hit out of this which is nice yeah buddy click up here to see my latest video click over here to see a video specially picked out for you click on this one to see the imperial la roca soap reviews have a great shave and a good day. I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving. Life is good.